Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I've been enjoying the um, the summer prelims. You've yes. been watching as well. Uh, some of them. Um, it's been pretty good, I think. Yeah, I watched uh, for like an hour and a half yesterday while I was working, and uh, I watched a Tay Tay Tyar. I forget the guy's Teray? name. Yeah, Teray. I I was watching him play zoo, and he killed off two minions so he couldn't play sea giant on turn four or five or something. <laughs> and I was oh, like, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, pro players. <laughs> yep. I was like, don't do it, don't do it, no. Uh. <laughs> but yeah. never punished. Never punished. Um. All right, you're you're six again, so yeah. that's pretty good. You've yeah. been playing zoo. Yeah, I've been playing Zoo um, since I was just bouncing around in rank 10 and 11 with Aggro Shaman, and it, it'd be like as soon as I got up to 10, I'd lose again. And I was like, and I don't know if I was just getting hard countered. Probably not. But I was just like, I'm just going to play some Zoo, and that seemed to work pretty well. Because I was facing tons of Druids, I think. And I was just like, I can beat Druids at Zoo. Yeah. Zoo is pretty good against Druid. Um, so I I think we should skip the Zoo because you you seem to be pretty good at it now, um, and maybe play some games of Agro Shaman. Okay. And yeah. kind of review what we um, what we did last time, and then I thought maybe it's good to look at um, one or two new decks as well from Karazhan. Yeah. And then maybe uh, one arena run if we have time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I kind of switched out my... I switched... I put Maelstrom Portal in my deck instead of Juggler. Yeah. And I don't know if that's a good call. I, it wasn't, I didn't like Juggler very much just because it seemed to be very inconsistent. Yeah, I agree. I think the consensus now is to run one uh, Lightning Storm, one Maelstrom Portal. Because, mainly because Druid has been quite prevalent and... Mm -hmm they have a lot of tokens so sometimes you just need like a little bit of extra time that either the maelstrom or um, lightning storm can buy you what do you drop for the lightning uh, storm do you drop like an argent squire or um, I think you drop one of the argent horse riders I'm not quite sure um, what your list looks like now but normally you you play one argent horse rider um, and a lightning storm and one um and no flame jugglers anymore and the maelstrom portal okay yeah then i think that that is correct okay cool okay so let's get started with that okay and you're you're in and you can spectate me cool yeah when she get in game, I actually have a spectator quest as well on, on America. <laughs> hey, nice! Yay! <laughs> it's gonna be the ultimate pack. It's gonna be five golden legendaries when you're. Oh, if only. <laughs> Maybe You'd be I like, why couldn't I have this then. on my EU account? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think Karazhan has been one of the more fun expansions. Actually, I kind of I really like the cards that's been coming out. Yeah, they've okay. been unique, and I really I mean I've really enjoyed the um, solo adventures too. Oh. Yeah, they're really good. Um, I think um, I keep everything. I mean, drop everything but lightning bolt. Yeah, why would you keep lightning bolt? Um, trog. Yeah. And mainly because you're going second, so you're always being more reactive. Mm. Okay. So if I was on, if it was turn one, I wouldn't. No, that would make wouldn't make sense because I wouldn't want to play it on turn one. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah. Okay. Because then, if you react, you'd play it on turn two, and you wouldn't necessarily have anything else to play alongside it. And he kept one card. Oh, good. <clears throat> I 
Um, Already a very important decision. So what do you do? I like coining out both one drops. Why? I'll be able to kill his one one and potentially buff it with a to a two three uh, the trog to a two three potentially for uh, on turn two. Okay, so let's talk about a few. Uh, possible scenarios. Let's say he plays Abusive Sergeant and kills your Tunnel Trog. Then you kill off his Argent Squire and you have 1-1 one, one left on board and no play on turn 2 or well you have your Totem and no play on turn 3 or 4. Or four. So I actually like just uh, playing the Argent Squire here. Um, okay. Because if you play the Tunnel Trog it's really weak to either Flame Tongue Totem or um, mm. or Abusive Sergeant. Okay. Or even just rock wider. Uh, I think with your hand like this, with so ma uh, so much um, burst and so many slow cards or kind of unusable cards, mm -hmm. you don't really want to like play play uh, faster than your curve is, right? Right. So what what would you do here? Um. My initial thought is to trog lightning bolt the two the zero two and hit the one uh, hit the one break the divine shield. So what would you do next turn if that's your play? I'd have to totem call. I'd play after yeah. totem. Um So options. So I can totem. Yeah. And that might just be the best thing, actually. Uh, but totem, I can. Uh, I don't want to use a coin. I don't think. I can do my play, or I can just play a uh, tunnel trog. Um, tunnel trog is kind of the same weakness as it was on turn one, so probably totem. Yeah, I like the totem here. So this way, um, you can coin out the seven seven on turn three, which is usually quite a good play. Okay. I guess I was playing it a lot more like I would be playing Zoo. Yeah. Um, Agro Shaman now isn't as focused on that heavy early game board control anymore um, as it used to be because most of its threats are mid game. Like the 7 7 and the 5 5 and Doom Hammer. They're all mid game. So, I think where where your plays kind of go a little bit wrong is where is at the point where you focus too much on those first two turns, like you do with Zoo, because in Zoo, like the the first two power turns are so important. Right. Whilst with Agro Shaman, it's actually better to just curve out into your mid game threats. Mm. Of course, if you have a tunnel truck into Totem Golem into Feral Spirits, that's great. But right. if you don't, then you still need to have a backup plan. Okay, so what do you do here? So I can Tusk out Totemic. Um, I can coin out the seven seven. I could Tusk out Totemic into Lightning Bolt to clear the one three. Um, which I kind of like, actually. But then next turn you can't play the f uh, the faceless uh, again. Okay. So I I'd go with the Tuskar in the middle. Yep. So if you roll fl uh, flame tongue, you can actually do nice. some shit. And then kill the zero two. Kill the one and one. Okay. Because you have healing oh, no, to heal, right? Yeah. Kind of ran out of time. But yeah. you don't really want to overload yourself. And I think I would have also coined out the Tunnel Truck at this point. Because mm -hmm. there are so many um, targets for him. I mean, he wants to kill the Flame Tongue Totem. He wants to kill the 3-2. So if you would have coined out the Tunnel Truck, he probably would have lived. Mm. Okay. And he would have to make the choice between killing the 0-2 and the Tunnel Truck. Yeah. Seems like he had all the answers, though. But yeah. still, um, 
I think coining the tunnel truck last turn was quite good. Okay. Um, so, um, I like I like flame wreath coin lightning bolt killing the zero three. I like that too, but let's go uh, over let's go the, options. the options. So I can do thing from below, which just is bad. Um, Trog, Argent Squire, Lightning Boy Lava Burst with a coin. Or just Lava Burst, eh. I think we always Lightning Bolt the, the zero 3, right? It's too much yeah. value. So then we have three or four mana left. Um, yeah, I like coining the flame wreath. I think that's the strongest play. It's a seven seven on board instead of a bunch of weird stuff and using a lot of my cards. Yeah. Yeah. I am overloaded for a button though. <sighs> yeah. That's one thing you might have considered. Um, what is my next play, next turn, right? Yeah. Um, I could play Finley. I can play any combination of my one ones, or I could just totem. Yeah. Um. So he's overloaded for a lot. So he's overloaded for he two. Four. He so has he has four mana, mana next turn. So he's neither. So he's not doom hammering. Um. I think we want to take a value trade here, um, because he used lightning bolt and he used rock biter. So mm -hmm. lava burst wouldn't kill the seven seven uh, if you killed the um, spell damage totem. Okay. So we're kind of trying to bait him into trading. His seven seven into yours. Okay. Um, so I think we want to play the Argent Squire and Finley because if you play Tunnel Trog, then he might tr value trade into your Tunnel Trog instead of killing the seven seven. Mm. And the placement was right that I did right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Fire Blast. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's. Almost impossible him for him to kill the seven seven with card from hand. He needs like lava burst and second lightning bolt, which mm. is so unlikely. And a lot of res and if he does that, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's a lot of resources. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, this is pretty good for you. Oh, okay. Um, so I can trog, doom hammer. Yeah. Is that what I want to do though? I um. Options. I can lava burst the five five. Um. No, I think I'm gonna clear everything but the seven seven. Well, I could clear the seven seven with the seven seven. Um. I I think um, I think we're gonna run out of time. So I'm, I'm just. I think you want to trade into the. 5-5 five, five with your 7-7, seven, seven, so that... No, 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 wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to use Lava Burst to clear the 7-7 seven, seven with the 1-1 one, one and um, Mark, uh, Fire Blast. Oh. Okay. Well, then. Uh, I think now the play is to isolate the 7-7, seven, seven, like yeah. you said. Um. So, yeah. This is a very risky play, though. You're going down to like very low health if he just goes face, and he has the uh, hunter hero power. Mm. So my play was to kill the five five with the seven seven, and then use lava burst um, the shield on the argent um, and um, uh, and your hero power to kill the to kill the seven seven. Yeah, uh, this gonna go a little bad I'm afraid okay uh, so what do we do here so um, okay so we have five beta I can clear I, I can clear with lava burst the seven seven Argent horse square hero power yeah 
I think that's the play. Uh, yeah. And I could just be dead here. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this game is in, in potentially next tournament anyways. But... Yeah, it's likely that you die, I think. He used yeah. one Rock Rider already, though, so maybe not. He needs three damage. I am alive. Well, unless Looks like we win. Me. Yeah. No, you have the Lightning Storm to buff the Trog, so yeah. you have enough. Okay, so that's 7, 11, 12, 13. Cool. Well, crisis averted. <laughs> okay. I see. I like your play better, though. <laughs> yeah, because then you wouldn't take the 7 damage, and right. you would still have a 7-2 on the board. Uh, so this this way, you have a 7-2 on the board, Uh and you killed like the the tunnel trog, which I guess is nice, but the you took like fourteen damage in total mm. from the seven seven, which is like a bit too much. Right. Yeah. He had quite a few outs for lethal there as well. I would have been annoyed if I hadn't drawn lethal either. <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Of course. But you... like, in it's different uh, from the old Ergo Shaman. You don't have that much reach anymore. Um, so you actually have a your you should focus a little bit more on on actual minion combat and board control rather than trying to get him into range of a possible top deck. Mm. Except if that's your only option, of course. Right. Okay. So what do we do here? So I like keeping Argent Square and Lightning Bolt just in case I need to kill something. But I was reading an article, and it didn't apply to... It wasn't written for Hearthstone. It was written about magic, but it was talking about aggro. And it said, the problem that control players have is that uh, they you you tech in too many answers. And so I feel like keeping Lightning Bolt could be trying to keep an answer when I need to keep a threat. Exactly, yeah. Okay. I would just throw away the Lightning Bolt and keep the Flame Tongue. Oh, you would? Okay. Um. Yeah. Why uh, lightning bolt button? against um, non-aggressive decks is usually wrong. Uh, so, unless this is Dragon Warrior, which is possible, and then it's still wrong because you're going first. So you're trying to be more proactive rather than reactive. Um, I still keep the Flame Tongue because it could be Dragon Warrior. Mm -hmm. And if it's Dragon Warrior, he could coin out Alexstrasza's Champion, he could coin mm -hmm. out uh, Fairy Dragon, so those are possible reasons why you really want the flame tongue with the Argent Squire because you can use the shield to trade very efficiently. Okay. But so yeah. I mean, I was going to play that. Does that I make just sense? Wanted to, yeah. Um, yes, it does. No, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So for next turn, if he doesn't do anything, um, we then we can golem. just develop the totem golem. Um, I I think I said this before, but Ardent Squire and Totem Golem are great cards against Warrior, because like Fiery Warax is so bad against them. Right. Yeah. I whenever I play Zoo, I always keep Ardent Squire in my hand if I'm playing a yeah. Warrior, because it's good against Dax. <laughs> yeah. It's um and for the same reason you usually keep Imp Gang Boss against Warrior as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got four health, which is frustrating for them. So it looks like he has a 3-3 three, three coming up. The, uh... Looks like it. Um, um, and he still has coin as well. So what do we do here? I mean, I could just push damage, but if it's... Well, I could just push damage. I could totem. Yeah, there are two real options, I think, yeah. I feel like if I just pushed... So I don't like in Zoo, I don't like to use... Like, I wouldn't want to use an Abusive Sergeant here. Because I feel like I need to keep that as an answer. Like, it's it's, yeah. it's a waste of 
it's a waste. And so I feel like just pushing four extra damage, especially against what could looks like it could be a control warrior, is bad. So I think totem means just the best thing here. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, some players would have played the flame tank totem. I think here, um, it's just depending on play style. I don't no. think either is wrong. I didn't want to see that. No. Oh well. Well. So, see if he has it. So if he has uh, like worst case scenarios, ravaging ghoul, coin, execute. I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And in that case, we can still discard totemic lightning bolt, which isn't too bad. I still want right? to. I think I still want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that is a great That's one. That's pretty good. Yeah. When Tuscar to Hemic wins you the game. <laughs> Did you... I didn't see the Yogg that everybody was complaining about. Like, that won the game for... I saw, like, the commentary from the player who was like, I shouldn't have won that game. That Yogg, like, was... Oh, no. I, I, I mean, I didn't see everything. But. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Um, the three two is gonna go into the four three. And is it? Oh. Uh, oh, uh, I okay. So, that's what I would probably do. In, okay. Unless I guess unless I roll a one, well, I think I would clear it even if I roll a ton totem. But that could be okay. Wrong wait, 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 wait. He played Corcron Elite, right? So what do we know about this deck? He doesn't have Axe in his hand. Yeah, we know, but more in general. It's probably Dragon Warrior, or it's some kind of aggressive warrior. So we're not going to play around Brawl, right? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Is that a safe assumption? Yes. He is at 22. His 4-3 trades into all your guys, like, very badly for him. He can't buff his 4-3. So he's going to make a trade, right? Mm. So why would you, as the aggressive player, putting him at 22, make the trade? Okay. I would just Totem Golem... Uh, hero power and then go all face you push 6 damage here you put him at uh, 16 he only has one card uh, on the field he has to make this trade right Right. if okay. he's going to value trade into your 1-1 one, one, then that's fine for us now he'll kill the totem golem but we don't really care right that right. one extra health on the one minion that doesn't really matter um, you only make trades if it's um, if he can make like an excellent trade, right? Okay, so right. this turn we're probably gonna trade because otherwise his five four can trade into your uh, five five that you're gonna play. So flame tongue in the middle, abusive on the on the one one, kill the five four, and then face face face. Yes, I I like it. And I'm gonna put the five five where the one one is, just so that it gets buffed, even though it's yeah. okay. And then I'll probably put the abusive on five, by on the side of the five two. Yeah, on the far left. Yeah, just do it a little bit wrong. Is there any argument to go to put him to six health? Um, yeah, if you would have had Lava Burst in your hand, then it there would be an argument to just like, push everything face. Mm. But I think here, like, what's he going to do? He has six mana. He doesn't have Brawl. Or even if he has Brawl, then what? You can just refill the board. Right. He has to have Coin Execute, unless he uses Coin already. But I think he's just... Oh, okay. Alright, well, give me one of my outs. Mm, okay. Um, so. Oh gosh, alright. So. I can do a lot. Um, I can definitely clear, if, even if it rolls two, so. Yeah. So but let's. Um, so, you want to clear, right? Yes. So, it's probably going to be um, Lightning Storm. Mm -hmm. And probably also Maelstrom Portal. Um, so, if we play those two cards, we use five mana, right? Mm -hmm. 
So we can totem first. Because we can't play the feral spirits anyway. Oh, that's nice. So you can't execute my guys next turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm just going to use Maelstrom Portal. Yeah, you're you're always going to use it here. Okay. Could be worse. Yeah. It's not a bad one. So I, I can already kind of see... Do you see already that we're kind of dominant in these two games? Mm -hmm. I think in the last Shaman game we would have been dominant as well, if not for that one misplay. Uh, actually turned out to be qu quite close in the end. Right. Do you see already that, that the, um, the difference in kind of the plays I would make and the different, and your plays, where it, they, they actually matter quite a lot usually. Um, yeah. So, um, let's let's play one more game and see if we can identify some themes in uh, because sometimes we, well, I have to like tell you make this play now because we run out of time. Right. Uh, no, that's fine. But actually, it might be better for you to just um, maybe we can play a game where um, you just play the game. And I take screenshots or whatever when I disagree with the play or okay. when I think something is better. Um, so I think I'm all again all of this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna coach this game, and then next game we're gonna do that. Okay. And then we we can discuss some of the um, some of the screenshots that I take and have some comments about. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I just pass this turn. Um. So what's he gonna do on one mana, or possibly two? It could. Well, if I play abusive and he uses the blood of Icar, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I agree. Um, he could coin out war axe. Yeah. Which is if. I guess it's not the end war of the world. No, Warwick's is always going to get value against you, so I think I'd be fine with playing the abusive here, just to get something on board. It just gets punished by um, Alexstrasza's champion, that's the only punish. Mm, okay. um, so coin Alexstrasza's champion. Well. And there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, well. Um... Do you, do you so I can rock bite or I can totem? So what's better? Well, if I get the one, one I think rock biter or totem's better, <laughs> but rock biter definitely kills it. Um, yeah. I feel like I can take three damage if it's not. I can always rock biter next turn, right? Well, I can actually. I'd play this next turn. So this sets up a clean feral spirits potentially. Yep. And that's probably better. So I think it's pretty close here, actually. Um I think I would go for the rock biter weapon here in the end. Okay. But it it doesn't feel very very good. Yeah, killing a three one with it. But then you have Feral Spirits next turn and Flame Tongue Totem afterwards. Yeah, I was kinda afraid. That. He would have this. Okay. Mm, yeah, just play the ferals. Feel bad, man. Feels bad. <laughs> These are the kind of the openings from Dragon Warrior where he's just gonna, oh, geez. gonna win usually. <laughs> oh, I can clear that. Which you is, can clear that. Which is probably what I need to do. Well, no, yeah. I can push face, can't I? Uh, Corcoran punishments me. Uh, yeah, the fire I think axe, so yeah. Frothing war, uh, frothing berserker is Scary. such a high threat as well that you just want to kill it. Yeah. You I'm still have a chance if he doesn't have execute for your seven seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he's already kind of. He's curving oh, out really well. He's okay. curving out really well. Yeah. So. I kind of like, well, 
What do I like here? Decisions, decisions. So, if I play Flamery Faceless and Argent Squire, I can't play Doomhammer. Well, I can play Doomhammer and kill it and then go face. Yeah. That's duh. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was on four mana. That's the no. play. That's the play. I think that's the play because next turn you can play the Faceless. Yeah. So you curve out way better than if you play fla Faceless this turn and Argent Squire because then you have four mana next turn, so you can't play Doomhammer. Yeah. So you play off curve, um, and this this way you can like um, this way you 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 curve out pretty well. Um, okay. So I can t Tuscar and Lightning Bolt. I can Flame Wreath and take eight. I can Flame Wreath and just go face. <sighs> Tough, eh? Uh, then I'm on seven. Those are those are the options, right? Yeah. So what's the best? What's he gonna play next turn? He's gonna play his nine nine. Which uh, he can't because. Even if you take eight, you're at sixteen health. Yeah, and so and then I have a seven seven and a lightning bolt to clean it up. So I like yep. I like flame wreath here. Okay. I like it too. You know, I haven't been thinking about what they are gonna play so much. Well that's and that's that a big might thing. be a good addition. Yeah. Um, because if you play the Tuscar and Lightning Bolt here and he plays the six six, then you're kinda of fucked. Um, this way you have a 7-7, seven, seven. he plays a 6-6, six, six. you can trade, he doesn't have an easy way to um, to get rid of the one health, unless he has Ravishing Ghoul, but... How's he gonna... Oh, he's gonna execute it. Okay. okay. So far, he's been having a, a whale of a time. Been pretty lucky. I think... I want Totem Golem to roll, or Tuscar to Temek to roll a spell power for Totem. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can't, you sadly, you can't uh, Tuscar and Hero Power and uh, Lightning Bolt. So, what are the options here? So, I can Tuscar to Temek, Totem Golem. I can Tuscar yeah. to Temek, I can Totem, Tuscar to Temek. I can. Totem Golem, uh, Totem, and then play Argent Squire or Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Um, so then you have a 1 in 4 chance to roll the spell damage. And if you don't roll it, you can always play the Argent Squire. I think I like that more. Okay. Uh, because Tuscar Totemic is a 1 in 6. Uh, yeah, 1 in 6. So now you just play Argent Squire. Go for I don't take 10, do I go face? No, you don't take 10. Though I am dead to Grom and Inner Rage. And he's only Yeah, but he's on 7 mana. So oh, you're not yeah. dead yet. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, this game is still pretty close, right? It's going to depend on how his late game is. Mm. Slam. I just feel like I'm dead right now. I feel like I'm in a really bad position. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, there's still quite a few outs. If you uh, draw into Feral Spirits or something like that, mm. that could really change the game. Okay, he's gonna trade. Okay. That's good. That's for a me. pretty weak turn. Yeah, he did. He slammed. But okay. So, if I Tuscar Totem. This goes down to one. That's five, six, seven. If I want, yeah, I can hold on to lightning bolt, which I probably will, and I'll kill the five one here. Let's first uh, roll the Tuscar Totemic and the hero oh, power. Oh, okay. Oh, normally you wanna uh, ro you wanna play Tuscar Totemic before. Um, oh, because it gives you uh, the. Because it blocks a normal totem. Uh, so if you would have rolled. Like spell power, you mm. couldn't have gotten the spell power off your hero power. 
Gotcha. So usually that's slightly better. Okay, so I'm playing the 5-5. Five five. Yeah. And I am taking the 1-5 into the... Or 1-1 one one into the 5-1, right? Yeah. And I'm going face the last two, or do I hold it? Okay, so you have two Rock Biters still in your deck, right? And yeah. one Doom Hammer. So in the case of Rock Biter, it's better to keep it. In the case of Doom Hammer, it's better to attack. Um, so there's a higher chance for Rock Biter to happen, so sure. you keep it. That's usually the... The reasoning that you use. That makes sense. Okay. I kind of like having the double healing totems. It means you can't just slam it and hope that it... Or, you know, and Ghoul is kind of... Unless he has an execute. He's only used one, I think. He used one, right? Yeah, I think he used one. On the 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. So... Oh, that's nice. So. It is. So, Totem, Horse Rider, and Lightning Bolt the 6 6 and then go face for 8. Yep. Okay. Uh, placement on the Horse Rider. Um, do I just put it next to the 3 2? Um, yeah. Doesn't okay. really matter that much, I think. Okay. I know placement's not as important as it in Wazoo, but it's still... I don't know, it's I'm still, kind of it like... Can be important. It's in my brain yeah. now. <laughs> but it kind of depends, because here you probably want to use Flame Tongue to kill off totems, so you want to group mm. the totems together. Gotcha, okay. Um, that makes sense. I think generally you still want to keep like the, the high to low. Um... Mm. If you can. Uh. Um. Uh. Yeah, this is gonna. Uh, this kind of shit, right? Yeah. Um. So what's your best out to win? We have to think Rock like that. Rockbiter. Rockbiter, right? Um, but even if you draw Rockbiter, he's going to go up to 19. You can only do 5 damage, so he has, he's at 14. So Rockbiter doesn't do enough. Um, so I think here the plan is to send the 3-2 into the 1-1. One, one. Yep, that's what I was thinking. And, and still keep the Doom Hammer. I keep just the trog. I put the trog out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go face here, and I and I, yeah, I hold the. Okay. But I think there was some argument to toteming, so I could keep a perpetual other one um ooh well, I'm not dead yet no I but mean, it, I unless think he has inner fire or something or inner rage but yeah yeah but he's just gonna hero power and then there's no one draw you can have to kill him if he's smart at least then he should just like oh why wait why why that seemed wrong. Well, you could still draw Flame Tongue Totem and kill his Grom now. Mm. Okay, never over. mind. Is it over? It seems over. Yeah, this is over. Like your your draws in the mid game were too bad, Very bad because he had the the Draconid Crusher into the Grom. He had too many late game threats, um, and you drew like Tunnel Trog into Tunnel Trog into Horse Rider or something. Okay, not in that order. Um, but still, it was pretty close, right? Even yeah. after he had that um, that insane 
uh, Alex Strass's champion, Fairy Dragon, um, Frothing Berserker start. And your yeah. start was like meh. Yeah. So it's not too bad. So let's let's do this game where I'll wait. Well, j you just play the game, okay. and I'll um, try to keep track of um, what I think goes wrong or what I what I would have done different, and then we'll talk about that afterwards. Okay. Because I'm I'm afraid that sometimes I'm influencing your choices too much, right? Mm -hmm. So I yeah, I need really to learn. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. I don't know if you can see my mulligans or not. No. Okay. So I'll tell you what I'm going to mulligan just so that yeah. you have an idea. Um, I'm definitely mulliganing the lava burst and the thing from below. I'm gonna mulligan Finley, and and mm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep Rockbiter. Oh gosh. Okay, it's a new one of the new decks. One uh, of the new decks. So options are Trog Coin Lightning Bolt. Options are Rock Biter, kill it by itself. Can also coin out. I think the play is coin, trog, this, and I do this mainly because last night I saw a picture of on turn 2 a 5-6 secret keeper and a 3-4 whatever on the board. I mean that wouldn't happen for him because he doesn't have the coin, but still. Here. I think I play Argent Squire and go face. Because I don't want to activate his 1 1. And I'm going to play Argent Squire on the right. <laughs> um, so I can totem and abusive and clear and then push two damage to the face I can feral spirits if I feral spirits so the argument for feral spiriting now is that it won't over I won't be overloaded on turn four I would be able to totem next turn I would also uh, I think uh, mm, yeah turn f next turn I have four I just totem or I think I think I am gonna feral spirit now and I think I'm gonna this is definitely going here and I think I'm gonna he's gonna have to make that trade so I'm gonna push four damage I don't think it's punished by anything oh okay I 
Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm go so I have options. I can play this, which I don't like doing that because I don't want to overload for uh, Doomhammer. Mm, and I'm gonna play Doomhammer next turn. So what I think I'm gonna do. So I guess the argument of plain abusive is it pushes a little bit of extra damage and it's another 2-2 two, two to kill one or 2-1 to kill one of his 2-2s. Two yeah, I like that actually. So I'm going to push that here and I'm going to clear the barns and push 6 dam 8 damage to face and I like that he's at 15 already. Uh, he really wants that to be explosive. <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do is Doom Hammer. And I'm going to do this and this. Oh. Okay. And I'll check. Not explosive, not that. Okay. Okay. Oh, he wants to yell at me. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, that was a really interesting game, actually. Uh, there were a lot of tough decisions from really early on. Um, let's see if I can send you the screenshots. I feel like I played it pretty well. Um... Yeah, and I, I won, think but pretty well as well. That's not always like the the indicator. Uh, how do I? Right. Okay. So let's start with the mulligan. Can you see this screenshot now that I just sent on Skype? Uh, okay. Yes. Do you get it? Yes. Uh, okay. Me... Good. Um, so, in the end, you chose to mulligan Finley. Um, I mean, like, thing from below and lava burst are like immediate throws. So, that was good. Keeping the rock biter was good. Going second, Hunter usually has a lot of kind of 3 2 minions uh, traditionally. Um, I actually would have liked seeing the Finley as well, kept. Okay. Mostly. Uh, and I'm not sure this is true now with the new hunters, but uh, traditionally, hunter plays, and the new hunter, you have a variation that's very aggressive with abusive sergeants and argent squires as well. Mm. Uh, and of course, you have fiery bat. So, Finley trades into a lot of his one drops very well. Um, so, I would have kept the Finley as well, but I don't mind you throwing it away. Um, okay. You got a pretty good hand after that, and it I just like felt like, too slow against his one drops. Is what I was thinking. Mm. That was my that was my gut reaction. Is that was kind of slow against him, but it is yeah. good trades against him too. Um, and it's it's also a good keep with Rockbiter. So in the mm. case where he kind of doesn't have a turn one, and you play Finley, and he plays a three two. That normally trades really well into Finley, right? Right. But because you have Rockbiter, you can clear that off and protect Finley. So yeah. that would be an extra argument to keep Finley here with the Rockbiter. Um, so 
So yeah, I, I would probably keep that. Okay. Let's go... Oh. This message has been removed. Can you see this? Oh, I removed it again. <laughs> no. I can, yeah, I just have the one picture there. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so turn one was so complicated. Um, you have so many options here. Um, and you chose to go for Tunnel Trog Lightning Bolt, right? Mm hmm. Uh, which I agree uh, is the best option here. Um, okay. Mainly because if he plays a 3 2, uh, which he didn't do, uh, you you always have Rogue by the weapon to um, trade it in, protect the Tunnel Trog. Mm, yeah. um, if he doesn't play anything, you can play Argent Squire. Um, so it doesn't matter that you're overloaded next turn. Right, that's that's the whole point. Um, right. So I think I agree with your play here. Okay. Uh, there was um, you took a good time thinking about your options here, which I liked uh, because it's it's really complicated. Uh, next. Oh, I see. You have to wait. Yeah, I'm learning. I mean, it's learning a different deck, so it's, but it it feels kind of zooey, but even though it's, but so I kind of have to get that out of my head. Yeah. Because I feel like I make some zoo decisions that aren't correct yeah. in this deck, obviously, which makes sense yeah. that they wouldn't be. And you also you need more time to think about your own next turns, um, beside your opponent's turns, of course, but. Um, because you have the overload mechanic, like in a few games that we played, you were planning to overload yourself and prevent yourself from playing a 7 7 on turn 3 or mm. turn 4. Right? You always have to think, I really want to play that 7 7 or that 5 5 or that mm -hmm next turn. So, right. okay. in order to make that happen, I need to not overload this turn, even though overloading myself would present me with a better board now. Uh, but then my next turn would be kind of weird. Right, okay. Okay, so this turn, um, you chose to um, Argent Squire and then go face, right? Mm -hmm. um, that actually could have gotten punished quite hard by um, uh, Eagle Horn Bow. I mm. probably would have um, traded in the 1-1. One, one. You killed the kill, kill the blah, blah, words. So you would have killed the one one with the with the trog. Yeah, and then I would have probably decided to rock biter the three two that came out. Oh, okay. So you have a clean board. Um, you do um, still lose your trog to eagle horn bow, um, but if he plays the um, the three four. He doesn't have a lot of cards left. You can always abuse his trade into that. Mm -hmm. um, it worked out for you here, but it could have gotten punished. Really punished. Um, okay. Okay. So if he would have had Evil Horn bow, bow on turn three and then Houndmaster on turn four, you would have lost the game. Mm -hmm. But those are a lot of ifs. Uh, right. I know. But still. But I, mean, I think you should have thought about the possibility of him having having Eagle Horn Bow. I think I didn't even then think still, about that. I think yeah. then still you could have decided to go face, um, but um, you should have thought about it at least. Okay. Yeah. So next. Okay. Um, oh yeah, this turn. Um, so he played the unleash the hound, and he made a mistake, right? Yeah. He attacked the wrong guy, which yeah. uh, kind of helped in making this turn a lot easier. This turn is always uh, feral spirits. 
always. Okay. There's no there's no thinking here. Feral Spirits just gives you so much board here. Mm. Um, and like the added um, value is also that next turn you have two cards or two mana and you have two cards that fill that mana exactly. Mm. So you have all your options already for next turn, right? Yeah. Um, you went with the Feral Spirits here, which is good. Uh, one thing I would have liked you to think about was Houndmaster here. Mm. So if you play Feral Spirits, he plays Houndmaster. He can trade into the Feral Spirits. Uh, which isn't bad for you, actually, because you, then you can just use Rock Butter uh, Abusive to clear up the whatever he has, like the Houndmaster, right. with the with the 1-1 one, one or the 3-1 uh, that it is then, um, and use the Rock Biter weapon to kill off the, the wolf. Right. Um, but I would have liked you to think about possibility, or the most common possibility for a hunter on turn 4 is either Infested Wolf or Houndmaster. Okay. And it's a risk leaving the beast up this turn, which I actually like, um, but I, I still think you would have, or you should have, thought about his possible turn four options. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I think we're at this one. Um. So, now we're at this turn. I actually really like the the play that you did. It would have been my my play exactly. Um, so you used the rock biter here. I thought I was afraid you would think, oh well, I have doom hammer in hand, so I should keep the rock biter. Uh, but here it's essential that you kill Barnes um, so that he can't get through your feral spirit easily. Um, so killing Barnes, and I like playing abusive as well because at this point you really wanna. Like, make your board as big as possible. And you get the two damage as well. Uh, so I really like the way you did this turn. Okay. And then I think I have one more. Oh, yeah. This last turn was um, interesting as well. I think this was actually your worst turn, where the last turn was your best turn. <laughs> um, so... Uh, you play Doomhammer, which is fine, um, which is probably the best choice here. I just don't like the way you played around the secrets. Uh, so, I, th so I hit one of the things I did was I hit with the six one first, and if there was bear trap, that would have been bad. That's one thing I noticed after I hit with the six one. Um, but I don't know. It wouldn't have been too bad, actually. I think I would have done the same because then you still have the Doom Hammer left to, like, tank the the three three twice. Mm. Okay. Um, and if you did it the other way around, so attack with Doom Hammer, then you have to send the six one into the three three, and then you would miss two damage. Mm. So that was actually correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, then, I don't okay. like that you. You, so you play Doomhammer first, uh, which you shouldn't. Because mm -hmm. if one of these is Freezing Trap, and you activate the Freezing Trap, then you still want to like look at all your options. Mm. Um, secondly, you attacked with um, the Feral Spirit first. So if it's Freezing Trap, that would have been Frozen, uh, which is not the target you want Frozen. You want the Abusive Sergeant to get Frozen. So you attack with the Abusive Sergeant first, um, then uh, it would have activated the snake trap. Mm -hmm. um, so then you stop again. You see it's snake trap, there's only one trap left. Uh, you know it's not freezing trap, you know it's not... Um, uh, oh well, you, you just know it's not freezing trap right. and you know it's not snakes because snakes has just been activated. So it can be explosive trap, it can be snipe, it can be bear trap. Those are the most common options. Um, so you're most afraid of explosive trap, right? Right. Um, so if you're afraid of explosive trap, then you trade the feral spirits into the other hyena, which you queued up directly already before um, you saw it was snakes. Right. Oh, um, okay. I would have liked you to stop and consider possibly trading the 
uh, the wolf into a snake instead of the tutu. Uh, okay. In the end, you should have like traded into the tutu, but you sh like at every step in this kind of thought process, I would have liked you to stop and think about and review your options with the new information. Right. Um, okay. So it's I I didn't. I didn't not like this turn because you made any wrong plays, but I would have liked you to kind of stop and review your options at every point of the turn. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then in the end, you like sent the six to face, which was fine, and then the uh, the doom hammer to face as well. If it was explosive, then you should have probably not gone face with the doom hammer, but just traded in two snakes. Because if you would have gone face with the Doom Hammer then, um, he's he's still at eleven, and you need to build your board again to get some damage in with your board. Because otherwise, you can get uh, um, you can get fucked by uh, by Houndmaster Call or by the Wild and bad things. Yeah, or or just um, uh, Animal Companion into Bear or something like mm, that. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, that was the game, and he conceded after that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we we did an hour of Ergo Shaman now. Um, do you want us to like do an hour of new decks now, or yeah, let's do an play hour. Some more? Yeah, let's do an hour of new decks. I guess. Yeah. Um. Okay. So two of the decks that's been more popular now since Karazhan has been the new hunter uh, which we could try okay. I mean um, do you have the the, the new wings already mm -hmm. yeah okay so it's the new hunter and um, I think it might also be fun to try a little bit of um, tempo mage with uh, the new firelands portal okay um, so uh, why not start with tempo mage um, I actually like Temple Mage, and we didn't really go over it last time because it wasn't a very good deck back then. But right. It's still one of those decks that are I like sometimes you just like uh, fuck it, I don't want to play anything else, so you just <laughs> play Temple Mage, and then <laughs> suddenly you go on a like massive win streak and then lose five in a row or something. Okay. Um, it's not a very consistent deck, but sometimes when nothing seems to work, it's a good deck to kind of resort to. Um and kind no, of just I'd like have to a learn it because it's been well. in this yeah it's been in the meta forever yeah it's always going to be here yeah it's good to kind of have a go at it um it's kind of fun and it's also quite hard to play it sometimes um there's a lot of kind of decision making okay so shall I just like tell you more or less which cards you need. Yeah, I've put in Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles, Mana Worm, Cult Sorcerer, Frostbolt, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Arcane Intellect, yeah. Flame Waker, Forgotten Torch. Yeah. Fireballs. Um, Water Elemental. Just one? Um, I I have two. Okay. I mean, um, there there are a lot of different variations of okay. Tempo. Do you put Kabbalah's uh, Tomes in yours? Uh, no, I don't really like that card. Okay. Um, but it's something you might want to experiment with later. Do you like Ethereal uh, Conjurer? No. Okay. Um, I assume you don't do Blizzard, uh, Firelands Portals, Face of Summoners. Do you use Archmage and Anitis? No. Do you use Flame Strikes? No. You, you don't use Rohini, do you? No. Uh, Pyroblast, probably not. No. So just um, did you add the two Firelands portals or yes. one? Did you do two or one? I did two in this one. Yeah, let's let's try two. Do you do um, mirror images? Those would be the yeah. only. Okay, two right. Two mirror images. Okay. And then Yog. Uh, of course. Um, Brace Yog. And then uh, I have one slot left open. Mm. Um, do you use Emperor? Do you just have one slot? Yeah. Wait. We need a lot more cards. Let me check my okay. deck list. I, okay. <laughs> so we need Azure Drakes, we need um, Acolyte of Pain, we need Thalnos, possibly. OK, 
Okay, let me check my uh, my deck list. Okay. Okay, so I have Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles, Mana Worm, Mirror Images, Blood Mage Talnos, Cult Sorcerer, Frostbolt, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, I have ec one Acolyte of Pain. So you don't use Arcane Intellect? I do use Arcane Intellect, oh. so I have those as well. Flame Waker, Forgotten Torch, Fireball, Water Elemental, Azure Drake, Firelands Portal, and then Yogg. I only have one Firelands portal, so in order to add the second one, I think we might cut. Let's cut the uh, Blood Mage. Okay. And then two Azure Drakes. So I have two. Water so, alright, so I have Yogg, starting from the top. Yeah. Yogg, one Fire Elant. Oh, we want to do two. Yeah. Alright, well, let's skip that because I don't have any slots right now. Face Two Faceless. Uh, no, I wouldn't put any faceless in. I think oh. that's where you filled oh, up. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so Firelands Portal. So I have one slot left, and then I have two Water Elementals, two Fireballs, two Forgotten Torch. Oh, and one Arcane. No, I have two Arcane Intellect. Yeah. What am I? One Acolyte of Pain. Okay, that's what I'm missing. Okay. And you don't put any secrets in then, it doesn't look like. No. The time of secrets is over, at least <laughs> for mage. Well, you have freeze mage still, I guess. Yeah. Um, accolade. All right. Now, this is a deck I've wanted to learn. Because it seems fun, and it seems... Like, dragons... I really dislike that deck. Like, it just is really boring. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it I agree. seems like tempo is more. Tempo mage is more fun. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, some things that you have to remember with this deck is the, especially if you play the torch version, you have an insane amount of burst in your deck for a, a normal board control deck, right? You have two okay. fireballs. You have two. Um, Two frost bolts. You have two forgotten torches, which total nine damage uh, each, if you're lucky. And you have two firelands portals, which uh, is in total like uh, forty-six damage from the top of my head. And that's without any kind of flame waker shenanigans or arcane missiles or any extra other damage that you might be able to do. So, a, a lot of times with this deck. You're just like, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I did like, uh, I did like ten damage, and now I lost board control because fuck it, I'm tempo mage. Um, so how do I win this game? And you don't have a lot of burn in your hand, and he's at twenty, and you draw like arcane intellect into a fireball and a torch or something. Then sometimes it's just right to just go face with everything. Mm. That your only win condition is just like randomly like throw spells at his face. Gotcha. Um, so that's one of the things that you have to keep in mind. That you have like insane burst potential, which could be your win condition in some in some games. In other games, you just like you have a mana worm that goes out of control, um, and you just win that way. Um, in some games, you really want to save a lot of your spells to combo with a flame waker you might have um, yeah that's that's mostly your win conditions okay. um, and one thing to remember is, as well is that you use your mirror images well mm -hmm. um, for example against warrior you don't usually play mana worm on turn one uh, because then it dies. Right. But if you have mirror images, you just wait a turn, and then on turn two you play mana worm and mirror images. And he's sad. Uh, little little things like that could really improve your wing uh, okay. win percentage. Okay, so let's jump in. Okay, cool. This is a deck I have not. I mean, I made a play. I might have played it a little bit, but most of my mage wins are from freeze mage. And I'm not a great freeze mage player. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
of free smash but it is like, a, yeah, in a whole different league right yeah i love playing that deck that's so fun when you win yeah feel the power yeah um so my gut reaction is to keep everything but that could just be totally wrong <laughs> okay um so i'd say you don't keep the forgotten torch here because it doesn't really trade well into any of his stuff you do really want to keep the mana worm mm -hmm. um i think mirror image against druid is not a keep okay because like the way he's gonna get rid of your mana worm is with wrath or uh, swipe later. Right. Um, so I think you keep the arc in intellect. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. I just wanted you to be aware of the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this nice curve, potentially. Yeah. Raven Idol, that's fine. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about the the good matchups of Tempo Mage. Okay. Um, Tempo Mage is a deck that can win against any deck, uh, if you're lucky. Um, it's a deck that could, that is both good um, as, um, as an aggressive deck, it could get really aggressive openings, and it's also good as kind of a, a mid-range uh, control deck because it can win attrition games uh, especially against paladin uh, against warrior mm. um, because you have so much burn damage here you just play the mana worm of course and I don't coin out no I wouldn't use I don't have nothing to coin out so okay um, so the difficult thing about tempo mage is that your win condition changes so much Hmm. Uh, okay. In some games, you just um, go with the aggressive line, uh, and you do really well. Uh, and in some games, that just doesn't work. So then you have to figure out for yourself, how, well, how do I win this game? I feel uh, like I'm in a really bad spot. Do I? Well, you're always in a bad spot if uh, if, if the opponent it has coins out of four drop on turn sure. two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like coin. Arcane intellect and hit and hit because he's gonna kill it with wrath next turn potentially, and I want to get it as low as possible so that I don't know. So if you coin arcane intellect, then next turn you hope to have some kind of sources apprentice frostbolt play right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Should I do that? Yeah. Okay. And my trading in is the right thing, right? Let's wait for the cards first. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you see now that your hand is already quite heavy. Yes. <laughs> this happens sometimes, um, and it's usually why, and it's the reason why Tempo Mage is not a top tier deck. Hmm. <laughs> So I could clear the board. Um, yeah. So, so options. I'm the I'm the novice at this deck. So I now have options. I can play Flame Waker, which seems awful. Um, I could Sorcerer's Apprentice, Frostbolt, Arcane Blast, which doesn't yeah. seem that bad. Um, I could Sorcerer's Apprentice and just play the Frostbolt. But then he's just gonna hit, and so I think I have. If I play the Sorcerer's Apprentice, I have to clear. Otherwise, uh -huh. I could Arcane Blast and Fireball, or Fire Blast and Hero Power. Yeah, that's I like. Uh, I like that. I like that too. Yeah, uh, I like keeping the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, I don't like the Sorcerer's Apprentice Frostbolt Arcane Blast play because you have Flame Waker in hand. So you kind of want to keep some of your spells right. uh, to combo with that. Okay. Gosh. Wow, this guy. I know. <laughs> uh, He's such a good player. Wow.
Um, so, I kind of want to wait a turn and just ping one of those one ones, and then next turn I can flame waker, sorcerer's apprentice, and double fire fire bolt if I need to. Uh, no, you can't because the frost bolt is one mana then. Is it? Oh, I, oh, I see. Okay. So I think this turn you really want to kill that um, Violet Teacher. So uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Firebolt, fi or fr Frostbolt, Frostbolt. Yeah, I think we have to go for that. Okay. Um, even though, like, um, even though we um, we don't have many spells with the Flame Waker uh, left. We still have our next turn, which is Azure Drake, probably. Hmm. So it's not too bad now. Okay. It kind of depends on how good his follow up turns are. Oh, gosh. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we this really guy want to kill his that. curve. <laughs> yeah. Fireball, please. Yeah. <sighs> yes. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we really want to kill that guy. Let's just hope he doesn't have Ancient of War or something now. Ancient of War is like a bitch to deal with. Okay, that's that's decent. Okay, so he doesn't play anything with five mana, or he doesn't play anything with seven mana actually. So I think his hand is must be like um, uh, Onyxia Cenarius or something like that, um, or maybe Yog. Maybe Ragnaros, at least very high. Big uh, stuff. Big stuff. Because he, and there's no reason to to wild growth here unless you have big things that you need to go into. Yeah. Um, so options: Azure Drake. I can Flame Waker Ping. I think I like Azure Drake. Just, well, so if he plays Scenarius next turn, what do you do? Um, I'm really sad because I. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's a likely it's a likely scenario. Um, okay. I think here you actually wanna play the Flame Waker and Cold Sorcerer, because if you play those two, like Flame Waker is a top target, right? So right. if he plays Scenarius, he must feel really uncomfortable because he leaves the Flame Waker up. Mm. Um. This just feels like the 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 way that makes this turn most awkward for him, right? Right. So, do you fireland portal the flame the scenarius? Um, first, you trade in one of the two twos with the flame waker. Okay. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay. And then do that. Um. My other option is. Cult Sorcerer, Azure Drake, or Azure Drake, and then see what I get. But there's, as far as three drops, there's not a lot. Uh, you used your Frost Bolts already, so I don't think yeah. the Azure Drake's very good. I think you want a Firelands Portal, but the question is where? Because we can always, we can also Firelands Portal the 2-2, two -two. Two -two, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can trade with the 1-1, one -one, potentially. Mm. Which doesn't feel great because you waste a lot of damage. Um, I I still think it's probably correct. Hitting the two two. Yeah. Okay. And then trade. One one yeah. Okay. Oh, EGH is one of the worst ones to get. Yeah, it seems that way. Cause, and yeah. I was watching Hot Form the other day, and uh, he was talking about how hard Reno Warlock was to play. Yeah, and I was it's like, really hard. Yeah, I was like, oh, I didn't realize. I mean, it makes sense, because I'm not very good with it, but 
it still I was like, oh. it's uh, um oh okay. wow okay and I'm assuming he trades there yeah yeah okay it's actually not too bad for you I mean he only has one card left right he's got to be prepping for Yogg I would think if he's doing that yeah but Yogg isn't too bad because usually the play that Yogg's first loses in a Yogg mirror um, okay. Of course, Yogg can do anything, so right. that's not necessarily true. But if if both Yorks are of the same power, then the second one usually wins. That makes sense. So, Azure Drake, hero power clear, or Azure Drake, depending on what to get. But that could yeah. be, that could be a potential. Yeah. So I like it. Okay. So first, you see what you get. Yeah. And that doesn't change anything. Nope. Yeah, but see, you you just have more um, more cycle in your deck. Uh, so at this point, you should win unless he draws like nourish or something. Well, that's a mistake. Yeah. Why? Well, you could have traded in first, and then you would have gotten an extra wisp. That's nice. So I like Azure Drake, Cold Sorcerer, RK missiles. Yep, sounds pretty good. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Does that change anything? Yes, I think. Yeah, it throws out an extra. So it throws out six instead of five. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the flame breaker fills up your mana curve better. Yeah. And it's a bigger threat for him to deal with. So it's all good reasons to... Oh, that to, is uh, so good. It's a pretty decent answer. Hmm. I was going to ask, do you... Do you think is Tempo Mage a good deck to put Arcane Giants in? Um, I don't think so. Um, the reason is uh, that because um, your late game win condition is not big guys or board mm -hmm. control. Your late game win condition is Yogg into burn his face. Mm -hmm. Um. So and you usually use spells in the mid game or most of your spells with the flame worker. So you don't like discount it early enough for it to matter in the mid game, I think. Okay. So what I like here is hitting the 2/4 into the 2/2. Two -two. Yes. Cult sorcerer and fireball this guy. Yes. And then killing the 3 th the four, the four, four into the three, three, and putting out the water elemental. Yeah. So make the trades first. Right. So your uh, flame waker, uh, bullets or missiles <sighs> have the lucky. largest chance to hit the the one one. Yeah. That was a really. It seemed like a really scary board to me when he played it, but it ended up turning out pretty well for me. Yeah. That's the power of um, Tempo Mage. You just draw a fireball and remove all their shit. Why did he go face? Why didn't he? Oh, well, that makes sense. So, do I, I don't play Praise Yogg here yet. No. Usually, I mean, you're still ahead at this point, right? Right. So, when you're ahead, you almost never want a Yogg. Oh, that's nice. And just, so, Arcane Missiles and Mirror Image... Yeah. If that play all, all your spells. You have a flame waker on the board, so you want to play your spells. If that thing survives, um, that with <laughs> oh my god, that one one. <laughs> I kill that one one right. Uh yeah. Let's. And do I hit? I don't. Know, I just keep it there. Damn. So if he draws swipe. Then that's still not bad, because he can't really kill too much of her shit. Right. So yeah, I think we keep it like this. Okay. 
He wants Yogg it's... right now. Yeah. He didn't even play that many spells, I don't think. No, I don't think he has either. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, that's not nice for me, but it's, I mean, it still feels like a weak swipe. Oh. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. This poor druid. Oh, jeez. That's a really nice draw. Um, kill it with the 3-1? The yep. Oh, no more hero power. Sorry. <laughs> I think he's just dead. I don't see how he wins from here. Well, you just need what? to draw one more fireball, right? Yeah. Well. That's not a fireball. I kind of like Yogg here. No. No? Okay. No. Well, usually if you play a lot of spells, the only thing Yogg does is clear the board, usually draw you like four or five cards. Um. And you're ahead on board, but usually your clears himself, right? Right. So you kind of never want to play it when you're ahead. Okay. Um, usually when you're a little bit behind, um, and then mm. mostly on board, so you get a swing. Gotcha. Okay. That was pretty fun, right? Yeah, no, I like this deck. It's like, it's fun when it works. It can be very frustrating, <laughs> especially with the Flame Waker uh, missiles not hitting where you want it to hit. Right. Like this game, it missed that 1-1 one, one for like four or five, five times. Yeah, I was like, how did... Yeah, everything missed that 1-1. One, one. That 1-1 one, one was like, I'm a survivor. Oh, Priest. Seems like this is a good matchup for me. I actually don't know. I haven't faced any <laughs> Priests. <laughs> um... The new card is pretty good, so I guess Priest is... Yeah, they have their nice now. Resurrect. I was watching Amaz play with the Priest with the Resurrect and the 3-6. The yeah, 3-6, yeah. To keep the... Arc, uh, Arcane Blast doesn't seem to do anything in against his early game. Yeah, I agree. So we don't keep it. And I throw the rest of them away, it seems. Yeah, I agree. Okay. On one, I'm looking for Mana Worm. Always. And the best tempo mages always have mana worm on one. Right. <laughs> Seems you're not at that level yet. <laughs> Dang it. Um that makes sense. I haven't played this deck very much, so um obviously just pass. Yeah. Standard priest opening. <laughs> okay. Cult called sorcerer? Yeah. Okay. And then if he plays nothing again, I think I play Acolyte of Pain. I would assume I don't torch. Yeah. No, I think I really smite. Um, I think I still do that though. Yeah. David, I went up against a priest while I was playing Zoo that ran two Holy Smites. No. Well. It was actually a pretty close game. I mean, Zoo, a priest is dragon. Priest is usually very good against um, uh, Zoo. Against Zoo, yeah, because I have so many board clears. So, do you like Cult Sorcerer ping the one three? Yeah. So you ping the one three first and see what you get. And then do that. I was watching, like, a freeze mage play and long like a, was a YouTube video, and he pinged his ac acolyte, and I was like, a light bulb went off. I was like, oh, you can do that. That is something <laughs> you can do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I can ping my acolyte and kill it with the two one, or and get three card draw if I want. Yeah, that's a possible um, way that's, to do it. Let's let's go over the options first. So I can do this and ping. Acolyte, or, sorry, Arcane Intellect and ping. 
I can yeah. water elemental and play one of my one drop one drops or not. I don't feel like Forgotten Torch is a good play here, but maybe I'm wrong. No, I don't like a Forgotten Torch. So it's between the Water Elemental, possibly Arcane Missiles play, or Ping, Trade, Arcane Intellect. So the like the real um, value draw turn or uh, something in the middle. Because you still keep your Acolyte around, probably if you play Arcane Missiles. So mm, I would, yeah. I kind of like um, playing the water elemental here. It forces him to have to have a pain. Yeah, I think he would have played the pain uh, on oh the gosh. acolyte if he oh. had it. Okay. <laughs> that was Your scary. heart skipped the yeah. beat. <laughs> well, I knew it. It died because my arc, my I I looked at the the acolyte yeah. into it, but I was like watching. I was like, am I wrong? Like, really, is the game messing trolling me right now? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I kind of like playing the Water Elemental because this turn is the um, Excavated Evil turn. Mm. And this way he can't like clear your whole board, right? Yes. Okay. You always have the Water Elemental left and you still draw a card of the Acolyte. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I hate Priest. <laughs> it's the most annoying class in the game. I oh, that's a pretty that. good draw. Let's just kill that. Yeah, seems, seems good. like an annoying card. And you put two fireballs in your deck. Yeah, two cheap that's fireballs. Two cheap fireballs, yeah. And you still have the Arcane Intellect to uh, refill. And you yeah. still need to deal with your board, right? Yeah. Which is not easy for him, actually. It's not an easy board for him to remove. Uh, he needs, like, organized circle. Mm, yeah. Hey, there's okay. a fireball. There's a fireball. And a water elemental. So I kind of like water elemental rowing towards the face. Options? I can... Arcane Intellect, and then go from there. You're thinking the Smork now. Um, yeah. I like it, but I don't think Roaring Torch face here is correct. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, I think Arcane Intellect Water Element is the best play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you still need more than one Fireball to win this game. Right. I just smell blood in the water. But yeah. he, he has potentially a lot of healing, so... Yeah, and, and that's especially why duplicate. you don't want to waste your burn now. You kind of yeah. want to burn him in one turn, right? Yeah. You still want so to you do need that. as many options as possible. So what are my bad matchups again? Sorry. Um, your bad matchup is mostly like depending on your own draw. <laughs> okay. Um, some of the the worst matchups are, um, I think, still. Uh, let me think, oh, wow. because Zoo used to be a bad matchup. Oh, that's annoying. I feel like I win most games. As Zoo, I beat most Temple Mages. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, I'm glad I didn't burn. Yeah. Um. Oh, I can do a lot here, it seems. So it's um, kind of good that you didn't use the Roaring Torch last turn, right? Yeah. Because now you can deal with that annoying card. So that is two, five, seven. So I can do Flame Waker, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Roaring Torch, and then potentially Mirror Image or Arcane Blast. Yeah. Um, I. I would advise against playing the Sorcerer Apprentice here because you like you mm. play into AoEs a little bit too much then. So I like Roaring Torch, Flame Waker, and then possibly ping off the 1-1. One, one. Wow, should I just ping the face? Yeah, just ping face. That was good Flame Waker. Good job. I yeah. hate like I hate this card personally. Like I think it's like I I feel like it's like a broken card. 
because it's just so it's like a juggler but even better sometimes all the time <laughs> yeah sometimes what happens though is that you don't have the spells to like oh well that's annoying yeah Um, so bad matchups. I would say uh, Agra Shaman is a bad matchup because, mm -hmm. like, you don't really have a lot of ways to deal with their big stuff gotcha. um, and their early game. Like, it really depends if you have like the right cards, right? If you have a Frostbolt for their uh, Tunnel Troc, if you have like an um, a Spell Power Arcane Blast for their uh, Totem Golem. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's not an unwinnable matchup but it's pretty hard usually okay so I want to kill this flame maker uh, yeah and I bet this deck runs jog he's running a ton of spells I have no idea what he's playing I mean, uh, I'm surprised that he still has so many cards left I know I feel that he's been using quite a few he's thought steal stolen and oh, yeah, Arcane Intellect. True. He got Arcane Intellect and, and Flame Waker. And he's gotten a couple... Yeah, he's gotten a lot of card draw. Um, do I play Sorcerer's Apprentice and stuff? Mm. And it's a week against Holy Nova. Yeah. So it's weak against Holy Nova and Excavated Evil. He already used Excavated Evil. But you do get some power on the board. Um, I think I'd play it here. Okay. And pink face. Pink face, yeah. Do I play mirrors? Mm. Yeah. I don't think it's going to do too much anyway. So let's get the two damage in while you have the... Flame waker up. Flame waker on the board. Okay. Jeez. Ugh. Priests. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice card. Yeah. And do I do it? I do it to the face. Yeah. And I want the five two charger. Oh, or Leroy. Oh, well, that's pretty good. That's nice. All right, and then ping the two one. Yeah. So he healed for so much already with those yes. two three sixes, and still he's at nine, and you still have three fireballs in the he's deck. He's dead to board. Ah, there's Jog. All right. Well, uh. let's see what happens. Oh wow. Oh, that's oh, actually that's not too bad. Yeah, he's dead to yeah. a lot of things right now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that's the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, fireball. Yeah, it definitely could be worse. There's like a, I have a lot of outs right now. Yeah. Uh, do I yog? Yeah, why not? Let's yog. What oh. could possibly go wrong, <laughs> right? I have an attack. Oh, and I have innervate. Hey. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, this card is such a troll. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's my coins. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, gosh. This guy is just dead, I think. Two. Two. So he's one off right now. Yeah. Can I just go for it? Yeah, why not? Let's just go for it. So wait, wait, wait. Play yeah. Mana Worm first, yeah. I mean, you have Fireball and Firelands Portal next turn. Yeah, he's uh, or not next nowhere, turn. unless he Renos, which he, I don't think he has Reno in this deck. He's no, small, he played two smite, Smites, right? Yeah, he played two Smites and two Feasts of... Three Sixes. Yeah. yeah. He might have um, Flash Heals, but even like one Flash Heal wasn't enough. He needed yeah. like double Flash Heal. Firelands Portal for the win! What do I get? Hey, it's okay. Let me go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, yeah.
so far so good. Yeah. It's um it's kind of good that we're kind of steadily expanding your repertoire of decks that you can play. Usually, I mean like you can play Zoo to Legend or some or a lot of players can. Yeah. But it's sometimes it just feels like nothing seems to work. So then it's it, it it's always better to just kind of switch between decks a little bit. Right. And I hope to return to tempo mates every once in a while because nothing seems to work and then it's just like one of those fun decks to play that can win any game and always feels good if you win right right so i mulligan everything here right um or do you keep flame waker and arcane well you want to keep both you don't want to keep both um so Flame Waker could be good if you draw into one mana spells, and then it's possibly a turn four or turn five. So I think that's probably still too slow. So we mulligan it here. Mulligan everything, right? Okay. Yeah. It's still good to kind of think about possible scenarios where it's good, but I think it's too slow here. Okay. Frostbolt's nice, but I Frostbolt. don't. Frostbolt. Yeah. Mm, I'm a bad tempo mage. Didn't draw my mana worm. No, again. <sighs> This is why I need coaching on it. <laughs> uh, one turn. Well, just play it. Yeah. Okay. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I don't know if you're. Is it better now? Yes, that's a lot better. Good. It sounded like you were far away, so I wasn't sure if you were like, I'm gonna run and grab a drink. Um, acolyte. Yeah. Just play the acolyte. You might have Igor and Bo, but then still, Get I mean, hard. it's not too bad, right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's kind of bad. Is that worth? Do you think that's a good call by him? Um, well, it depends on his other options, right? That's Acolyte is usually pretty good to uh, kind of kill that way. Because you get no get no card draw. So do you like yeah. sorcerers and and fire blast play pace? Yeah. So the option is Frostbolt, but I think that if he had Eagle Hornbow, uh, he he would have played it over the mm, the deadly shot, uh, deadly shot, right? So yeah. it's a safe assumption at this point that he doesn't have bow. Okay. And we still have Azure Drake for next turn, so that's quite nice. Yeah, we have a nice. I mean, if and if that sorcerer's apprentice stays alive for two turns, that's really bad for him. It probably means that I win the game. But yeah, uh, I don't think that's very likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we're ahead on we're like dominating him, right? We're always one step ahead. Right. Uh, yeah, so he's been you forced to. Deal. Um, with, right? Hunter can be can be a little bit tricky now because oh. of. Um, uh, what's we call it? The um, call of the wild. Yeah, call of the wild. Um, and Savannah High Main. Mm. Mage has like no good way to deal with Savannah High Main. Mm. Um, okay. So this is kind of awkward, right? Yes. So what do you do? What is he gonna do next turn? He's gonna play Savannah my High Main. Yeah, and we're gonna be sad. Or so, are we? Well, I like playing two mirror images, pinging that thing. So and I I like yeah. pinging that thing. So why would you play the mirror images? It just puts more stuff in his way, which annoys him. Yeah, but you still have two uh, flame breakers in your deck, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to think about the scenario where I I think in this case I like not playing the mirror images okay. because if he plays high main next turn um, you will fire lens portal the high main and then he has two two twos right mm -hmm. so then um, your mirror images kind of die uh, for nothing okay I think you can take that four damage um, so I don't, I don't frostball face then or uh, fireball face nah okay uh, is there uh, any consideration maybe. for that I think I think fireballing face is actually not too bad. Okay. Uh, but it's kind of one of those. <laughs> oh wow. 
I'm okay. not sure if it's if it's right place. Right. But it might be right. <laughs> so. I have a few options. I can Firelands Portal, one of the, the the fiery bat. Yeah. I Why can... would you kill the fiery bat over the other one? Because it has an extra effect and a taunt. And it's a beast. Oh, yeah. And that that's a very real thing. Um I can frostbolt and fireball and But I then can't. you're ahead uh, or behind on tempo again because then he has his his play, right? Right. So I actually like the Firelands portal here because you you do something with your turn. You develop a five drop, Ooh. which he might be able to trade into, but maybe not. It's really nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Five mana, five damage, and a six five for five, seven. Gosh, that card is so good. Yeah, Not, so this, such this way you're card. you're ahead on tempo, right? So that's what you want. Yeah. Okay. That's... So, what do you think that trap is? Freezing trap? Yeah. I think he kind of telegraphed that. Um, so... So what, what do we do here? Um, arcane intellect to see what we get. Yeah. And then we're gonna probably if if we don't get anything good, we'll f arcane blast and ping the four three. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, first draw, see what we get. Ooh, nice. Um, That's pretty. Good. So I like flame waker, arcane missiles. Um. And so what's his next turn? Call the wild. Call of the wild. So what do we want? We want things in the way. We want things in the way, right? Yeah. So, so, Flame Waker, Arcane Missiles, Mirror Image? Yeah, I like that. Okay. And I don't attack, right? No, you don't attack. Okay. Because this can clear so the, f well, this, well, I don't know what I'll return. Probably. Will I return the Flame Waker? Uh, yeah, but after you used all your spells, right? So sure. you first like use all your spells to kill off the Call of the Wild, and then you return it, and then you send six damage face. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Nice. So this. Yeah. And then. Mirror images. Um, let's first uh, deal some damage. So kill Hogger. Uh, arcane blast. I I would actually start with frostbolt on the five four, uh, because you have four missiles that might kill Ho uh, Huffer off anyway. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay, and then arcane blast the two three. Yeah. Nice. And then arcane missiles, or a mirror image for extra four damage. Um, uh, I think there's still possibility that this is explosive trap. Um, okay. So let's attack first. And then ping face. Ping face. And then for next turn you can just replay the flame waker and right. fireball mirror image or something. This still seems like a fair card on five. At five <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty pretty decent card. I'd I think say. I just win next turn. Well, maybe not. Maybe not next turn, but like he has, he had like the nuts. He had Call of the Wild into Call of the Wild, right? Yeah. And you still kind of just you're just gonna win. Okay. Wait, 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 oh. wait, 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 wait. You could have played Sorcerer's Prince as well. I couldn't play the fireball then. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. So you could have played Source Apprentice, Fireball, Mirror Images. Oh, and not play the Flame Waker? Uh, no, you can still play the Flame Waker. That because you five, save, seven. You save two mana oh. because you have two spells, right? 
So the two mana you save is the cost of the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh. Um, so okay. what do you do now? Um. Fireball face? Sure. Let's go for it. And then kill this. Yeah. And then I go face. Yeah. I think you'll still win, but um, that turn could have gone a little bit better, right? Yes. So y the best way to do that turn was to first play the Sorcerer Apprentice, then Fireball the 5-4, and then Mirror Image. Okay. So that way you have the highest chance to kill all his stuff and to get enough damage through. Okay. You wouldn't have killed him, but you would have cleared his whole board again. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yay, rank five. Yay. Congrats. Thank you. I will be definitely playing some more Tempo Mage. That's it seems like a really fun deck. Is it, it gonna is. is it gonna get changed more with Karazhan? Um I'm not sure actually. Uh, I haven't reviewed the the next waves yet. How do you? I usually kind of um, see when it when, when they it gets come out. there. I don't really like speculating too much. Okay. What were you saying? Me Prince Melkazar, that legendary, seems. I mean, it seems like it's going to go in every control deck, and maybe even a lot of mid range decks. Let me have a look. It's the one that puts five random legendaries into your hand. Or into your deck when at the start of the game. For like six mana or something. I'll look it up. When the game starts, add five extra legendary minions to your deck. Yeah, it seems like that's going to be in most uh, decks. 5 mana for 5-6 is pretty good. Yeah. It's a demon as well. It's kind of interesting for a neutral card. Yeah. So there's not a lot of demon synergy uh, in standard. Yeah. Well. And it's supposed to follow, like, from what I was heard, that it's supposed to follow that it won't be duplicates of what you already have, or so that it will work for Reno Jackson. Guaranteed. Mm. Yeah, it seems like a good card. It's kind of interesting though, because not all legendaries minions are that good, good, and you still have to spend the mana for it, right? Right. Yeah. On second thought, I'm not sure if it's as good unless you play like super control decks, because no. like the same idea with um, Elise and the Golden Monkey, right? You only play Golden Monkey after you cleared their whole board with Brawl. You don't usually want to play it before you have all your uh, removal, uh, before you've used all your removal. So I'm, yeah, it's it sounds cool, but I'm not sure if in practice it works. Okay. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. It's an yeah. interesting card, though. Okay. Should we play one more game of Tempo Mage and yeah. then do an arena? Yes. Now, I bought the arena, but I haven't picked the class. And obviously, okay. I haven't picked any of the cards. But. So, we can do that together. Uh, we probably have to use Skype because I can't see it otherwise. Oh, right. The, the screen share. Yeah. So, the only bad matchup I find with Tempo Mage against Warrior is Cthune Warrior because they have just so much. Um, they have a lot more proactive plays as well with like the four two defined shield and um and still have the the shit ton of armor gain and yeah. the the stuff I'm a good look at me I'm so good at this I have a mana yeah. worm in my molecule. you're getting better already yeah. <laughs> um do I keep I don't feel like I keep both acolyte and arcane 
intellect. And I feel uh, like with Mana Worm, I probably want to keep Arcane Intellect. Um, I don't think you keep Arcane Intellect here. You kind of want to fish for one of the best cards you could get against Warrior, which is Mirror Images. Mm. So uh, to or throw just away to Acolyte, too? Uh, and Arcane Intellect right. as well. So just keep Mana Worm. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mirror Images would... Yeah, he would not be happy to see that. Hey, the loves. Okay, so no, I guess we I'm just play... Wait, because I thought you were leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one second. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That happens. Ooh, golden coin. Yeah. Let's think about the, the mana efficient plays first, right? Because, um, like I said last time, you always want to make the mana efficient plays unless there is a good reason not to, right? So do you think there's a valid reason to not make the mana efficient play here? Um, how do you get punished? Works. You're not playing a super aggressive deck, right? So, it's okay to trade every once in a while. You get rewarded for your good play. So, uh, if you want to play Acolyte, it's better to play Arcane Intellect, right? Yeah. I think you would have played the Ghoul over Fiery War X last turn because you had a 2 1 Mana Worm. So I think it's safe to assume he doesn't have goal. Uh, I don't think most Cthulhu warriors run Blood to Icker. I'm not completely sure about that though. Kind of depends. If that's the play, what do we do first? Yeah. Maybe we get a spell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got so lucky though, because you have no or barely any spells. It's very rare for um, for this to happen actually.
Yeah. So what's he going to play next turn? Um, that's seven mana. There's no real... Yeah, so he he still has to coin, I think. So he could coin out one of those. Uh, uh, I Well, we fireball that, right? So we fireball. And then I think we play Gold Sorcerer here. Um, reason is you have a lot of minions in hand. Uh, you kind of want to um, use those minions. Okay? Like if he... Um, plays the or if he kills your cult sorcerer here then that's not too bad for you because he goes down to 18 uh, he uses his uh, weapon charge uh, and next turn you have the flame waker fireball uh, so now it's even more awkward for him to kill the flame waker even if he draws like um, uh, ravaging ghoul Yeah. Or. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Well, there was also um, an argument to be made for um, attacking first, so you won't miss any damage on face. I think it's fairly unlikely that uh, three out of four, so it's actually 25% chance. Or even less. My math, it, math isn't great. So it's a, quite a small chance that um, it actually kills it. Um, yeah. No, I think we can go face. Like if he plays the, um, uh, the Twin Emperor here. We can fire Lens Portal, Arcane Blast, and hopefully kill off most of him. Oh, he trades. That's interesting. Yep. Again. So then, yeah, I think we fire Blast to 4-4. Four, four. Nice. This is this good enough, right? It isn't perfect, but it's good enough. Execute. Sure. No, but what's what's the most mana efficient play? Yeah. Is there any like amazing reason why you shouldn't do that? I mean Firelands Portal gives you a five drop, which is the Ezer Drake, right? So the only so instead of playing the water elemental you do five damage to his face. I mean if he brawls like two cards, always one survives, right? So I think it's best to just. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you want to go for that. Okay, so next turn you have Firelands Portal Forgotten Torch. It seems pretty good. I mean, he could still have the gain 10 armor and then shield slam one of your dudes, which is probably the worst case scenario. He can't play Cthune yet. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so there's no shield slam, which is good. Um, that plays into Brawl quite badly because you get something from the Firelands portal and you play the Sorcerer Apprentice. So you have four minions on board. So I don't like playing the Sorcerer Apprentice here. So instead I would Firelands portal and Forgotten Torch to face so you add an extra fireball to your deck. No, uh, he might play Cthune here as a last oh, brawl. So see, now this this way we save the Source Apprentice. Yeah, let's see what you get. Yeah, that's fair enough. So if you place Cthune here, every fireball is lethal. And you get probably two extra draws as well. Okay. He plays Cthune Warrior. <laughs> Needs to be defensive. So what's the first thing you do here? Yeah. 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 And then you win. Seems good. So so far you lost only we lost only one with Tempo Mage, right? Oh, that's that's pretty good. Seems to work really well. Oh nice. Okay, so you can go help your wife and we will uh, you just have to send me an email or uh, like contact me on Skype, see if I'm available whenever you have an hour to spare to get the last hour in. Um, yeah, I actually have the week off, so I'll be here most of the days. So just... Um, yeah, alright. Okay, well, see you later.